Zimbinda ba meet Nkosinati Segeleni who in 2021 exposed his sister Dr Nandi Pamagudumana for having an affair and engaging in dodgy dealings with a convicted mbulali and beparist named Tabo Bester for some odd reason this fell on deaf ears perhaps because Tabo Bester rubs shoulders with many big shots in high places including the police department allegedly and he'd been uh, evicted from the house he rented at midnight skeleni and his wife dumi spoke exclusively to my colleague senior reporter slinda uh, lomasigane uh, she joins me now in studio to give us more details so sli okay so now the brother knew about this relationship he threatened to spill the beans if she didn't pay him so the <laughs> I'm sorry to laugh like this. So the story really the plot keeps thickening, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So um over the past couple of weeks we've been trying to like get into contact of course with uh, more and more people who perhaps uh, may have known something who were close to Dr. Nandipa in particular because we know that she is the one who mainly had contact with Bester behind bars. Now, in my conversation with um Dr. Nandipa's brother, of course, uh, he was explaining how uh, in essence Uh, which is what we've been hearing constantly throughout the past couple of weeks um is that those who are close to uh this couple if mm. i'm going to call them that um fear for their lives especially um in this two week period where they've been essentially fugitives um of justice and now that they've um been uh, rearrested or should i say better rearrested and Nandipa also arrested in Tanzania it does seem as though um the family um of Dr Nandipa is starting to feel a little bit more comfortable to try and speak about uh what they know or what they don't know mm. uh with regards to the saga and in particular I wanted to know from Dr Nandipa's brother because I do know that at some points they lived in the Hyde Park hideout which was raided by police um just recently uh which uh, Nandipa shared with Bester from my understanding or my conversation with him is that they lived in the cottage um on that property for about 2 months between March um and May of 2021. Mm. He says that in May of 2021 his sister Dr Nandi Pen informed him that Besta who at the time was using the alias TK Ngwana did not want them on the property anymore um and that if they didn't move out then he was threatening to to shoot them. Mm. Why is it that you feel you need to protect yourself and your family? Um first of all, I was very afraid um when um Besta was out of uh, prison. And um having that fear, that's why I called uh, 702 and said um I there, there is things that I know for instance that I knew that TK was actually double based up by my findings when did you know that this person you've been talking to on the phone who was calling themselves TK Ngwana was actually double based up it's it's <laughs> yeah we can speak to my wife hello hi sisi how are you i'm good how are you good mm. so the, the the time we found out about Tabo Besta who I mean TK as Tabo Besta was the time Nandi was saying we should move out of Hyde Park okay. and that's when uh, that's, that's that's May yeah. remember we moved in March yeah. and then we got kicked out at May in, in May okay. I, I I believe on the 23rd just uh, before month end okay yeah. All right. So immediately as moving out we got a threat a call he he called uh, us saying that he's going to shoot Nati in the head and we, why are we in the house mm. apparently we were Nati was hiding us we didn't know that uh, this TK guy didn't want us in the house we didn't know that Tabo Besta is TK you understand that yeah so what happened is uh, when we left and we went to our friend's place That's when Nati really like discovered everything and then posted that uh, Facebook what what mm. um, exposing his sister and this guy and um uh, and no one was there no one was listening to Nati 
when he reported this. Mm. Remember, my sister-in-law, which is Nandiba, uh, pressed charges against Nati for that uh, post. And Nati had to go to court for a year. Mm. Yes. It was, it, was, it was dropped, I think, last year, September, or if not August. Yeah. So all I'm saying is this thing has been happening. We've been trying to, to, to say something in South Africa, but no one was listening to us. So I don't want it to sound like, oh, we knew all along, and, but we kept quiet. We definitely did not keep quiet because mm. we tried. I've, tried. I've got an email. Like that. Yes. He even got I himself into trouble mm. by posting that, which is, it means like, South Africa, be aware of this. This is what's happening. But no one paid attention to that matter. Mm. I even, I even had um, uh, an email that I couldn't find, but eventually I located it of me telling the Hawks um, the same thing. And yeah. then um, I reported it to Ground Up after I read their article. And I was like, no, this can't be happening. Okay, and then just tell me how you guys felt when you found out that they've been arrested in Tanzania. We felt great. Mm. We felt great because that was my biggest fear. I mean, I still fear Tabo Besta even if he's in jail because he's capable of anything. You know what I mean? Mm. But for the idea that he was out and no one knew where he is was scary. We were always looking over our shoulders. Because of that, I mean, he did once threaten to kill me, as you've heard. Mm -hmm. And me and my wife say he did. So I wouldn't pass anything past him. And he was so arrogant when um, I, I actually felt powerless at one time when we were being picked out talking to him. And I'm like, Tabo, uh, I'm like, oh, this is how I, I, I let him know that I know he's Tabo Festa. I mm -hmm. called him and said, uh, Tabo, Besta. He said, yes, Nati. I said, I've got you. I know who you are. And then he went on to say, yeah, just because you're in the media, you can go to any publication and um, nothing will be done about it in an arrogant, arrogant manner, which I think <laughs> threatening me mm -hmm. is... So, which is part of me being led to 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 uh, posting that post, you know what I'm saying? How do you think your sister got involved with Vesta? Do you know how they met? I think he used some of his tactics to lure her, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And then, I, I don't know. Dr. Nandipa is a medical doctor whose medical license was revoked in 2021 yet she still continued practicing how you ask well simply because she too is a skabenga just like her second husband tabo bester under the guise that her first husband dr mkuseli oscar magudumana was spoiling her rotten dr nandipa acquired banking new luxury vehicles, namely a Range Rover and a Porsche within two months. Hence, some of her friends confidently defended her when it was established that Tabo Bester was indeed funding her flashy lifestyle as they were so convinced that these were the doings of Dr. Mkuseli Magudumana. One of these friends happens to be Mushe Majuntula Amatreds Gamusa Kaula Ndiki, who expressed how flabbergasted he was at the discovery of his quote unquote sweet and innocent doctor friend being a lying criminal who's been separated from her husband for a while now and is rumored to be carrying a notorious murderer and Mzwenguli's child. This comes after a picture of Dr. Nandipa and Tabo Bester went viral on the net. The picture was taken by Umamkobozi Tizeni, who was familiar with Dr. Nandipa and was taken aback 
by how lovey-dovey she was with a man who looked nothing like her husband while shopping at Woolies in Santon. When the picture started doing the rounds, many people identified Dr. Nandipa's love interest as the Facebook rapist or peparist, a.k.a. T.K. Nguana, a.k.a. Tom Mutsipe, a.k.a. Tabo Bester. Whew! I doubt Dr. Nandipa herself even knows Tabo Bester's real name as he changes his names the very same way he changes the influences he invites into his home. Furthermore, the real Tabo Bester has been facing countless challenges since his identity was stolen by this Mkulubudu. He struggles to acquire assets in his name and to even move about freely as he is now associated with the gruesome actions of Tabo Bester Light, who looks nothing like him, but who instead looks like, oh my friend. The original Tabo Bester is currently working tirelessly to reclaim his identity and clean up his image. But this is proving to be difficult as the Home Affairs Department asserts that they have no record of Tabo Bester Light in their system. Thus, they are failing to differentiate between the two Tabo Besters and give the original Tabo Bester what's due to him. Hmm, odd. Ganti, how do things work in South Aba, Ferre? Since there's no record of the identity thief, Shouldn't it be easier to give the original Tabo Bester what belongs to him, provided he furnishes what's required? Hey, angaz, guningi, 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 and it keeps getting guningi yer. Because u Tabo Bester light, gashe gashe uispogi. Dr. Nandipa's second husband, Tabo Bester light, was declared dead in 2022 as his cell was set alight and he allegedly burnt to death. Dr. Nandipa, who posed as his wife and would bring him fresh clothes, sheets, food and money while in prison, returned as a mourning widow to identify and claim her husband's remains. She then stole two other bodies from the Free State Mortuary, one of which she identified to be her father's, while claiming that the other belonged to her brother. For each corpse, Dr. Nandipa claimed 1.5 million rands in insurance money. She then callously dumped one of the bodies in a river put rotten meat and maize meal in place of the other two bodies and ran off with Tabo Bester Light, who she had helped escape from prison by claiming his quote-unquote corpse. They went off to live their best lives in Santon, together with Dr. Nandi Pamakudumana and Dr. Mkuseli Magudumana's Two daughters. <gasps> Why on earth would a mother expose her daughters to umzwenguli or kavile? Well, the plot thickens as Tabo Bester Light's mother revealed that Tabo Bester Light is indeed the father of both Dr. Nandipa's daughters. <gasps> Perhaps that's why her marriage disintegrated, but she continued to pretend as though she was still happily married. Ngoba, whoa, ishazo. Mind you, this can of worms was opened the minute that picture of Dr. Nandipa and Tabo Bester Light went viral. The minute they caught wind of this, Dr. Nandipa and Tabo Bester Light were on the run. 
I don't care if we on the run. Maybe long as I'm next to you. <laughs> you would think I'm a poisa as a South R would have put a maguinha and my fries down, gotten off their fat asses, and hunted them down. But nope. Bazebayo Tolagala le e Tanzania. Thanks to the Tanzanian police. Oh, out is your babo na. Uguti banjani Tanzania. South Africa is waiting and the law enforcement should not even play dead here. Mm -hmm. South Africa should know every little detail and every step to be taken when it comes to uh, uh, making heads warm. Remember, one, how did he get out of prison? Approximately 20 officials should be held accountable mm. approximately yeah. and leaving the country approximately how many borders did he cross how many uh, uh, areas did he hotels and so forth yeah so there are many many now I, I i don't have faith because the way it was protected from the beginning i doubt why would you because they realized the taboo was not there, but they kept quiet. It's only after that story broke out. It's yeah. only after that magnificent uh, journalism uh, that was shared with South Africa, the yeah. groundbreaking report, that now people started coming to say, yeah, we have an autopsy report. Yeah. And now we wanted to know, since he was declared dead on the home affairs, who went there and uh, wh what is written there, natural cause or what? And again, protection, the, the amount of protection, it shows that this is deeper than we think. This is a syndicate because for Tabo to even uh, be able to cross the border, mm. it's what? Facilitation of multiple stakeholders. This is an institution. We might be talking of Tabo Besta, but this is an institution because mm. the story doesn't even make sense. Um, this is a new, um, if we were to, to, to analyze crime, this is a new pattern of crime analysis where now it involves extensive intelligence mm. and normally we will be told of uneducated people, females being involved and loot into criminal activities. Now we're getting a different angle of, of a degree holder yeah. being part of this. So you can imagine, I wouldn't be surprised if um, um, figures, Political figures yeah. and leaders in their own rights are involved in this one. Yeah, interesting indeed. And we'll certainly, of course, keep an eye on the story and uh, this, uh, this case. Prophet, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so very much. Anywho, Dr. Nandipa's father, Zolile Segeleni, who acted clueless about his daughter's criminal activities and expressed how he feared for her life and wished she never got caught almost shat his pants because he knew Uguti said, oh, 10 past 4 10 past 4 BOM! in the hour and he too was about to be exposed for his involvement kulama shipi shipi lama shipi riser as soon as Dr. Nandipa and Tabo Besta Light were apprehended, so were Zolile Segeleni and a former G4S employee who were deemed as accomplices of Dr. Nandipa and Tabo Besta Light. Surely Dr. Nandipa's brother, Nkosinati Segeleni, who demanded a hundred thousand rands hush money from her and her thugnificent lover, is shaking in his boots as he too was involved Gulama Shipi Shipi one way or the other. I had a fall out with my sister and um, there was a court case regarding that post and I took it down. I apologized um, for what I had said because I never had any concrete evidence, if I can, I, I can say that, in the sense of that um, 
um, the law wasn't aware of whatever, whatever was happening, and I don't want to incriminate myself by saying that I know what was happening because I did retract and take the post down. He will come after me. For instance, I've been getting calls to get me to certain locations. And when I sort of investigate all of that, it comes out. Yeah. It's not the right people I should be talking to or whatever. Um, I can't say what I know, what I don't know. Because at the moment, I don't have protection. I might say something that will incriminate me or something that would, mm. I don't know, do what. But I can't say that I know Tabo Besta. Um, I don't know him. That's what I'll say. I don't know him. I can't say if I've interacted with him or anything. Because, I mean, I might say something that will incriminate mm. me or get my family killed. I just want, Nati, I just want to clarify, do you dispute that you were extorting your sister for money to keep this a secret? Um, uh, like I said, I was intoxicated and um, I don't even remember what I was doing because of the emotions I was going through. And, so are you, sending, are, you saying, are you saying when you sent her the WhatsApp uh, message <laughs> where you were demanding... Um, money, you were intoxicated. Yes, I was intoxicated. I was very intoxicated because I was going through the thing of uh, losing a place and I was quite very emotional. Who we? Let me know how you think this will pan out in the comment section down below, and I'll be back with an update soon. Ciao, ciao.